Hello, so today we are going to talk about a rectangular parallelepipe and this topic is on module 6. Okay, so this is the description of our lesson. Uh, in this lesson, you are going to have an idea about what a rectangular parallelepipe is parallelepipe is and how uh, we are going to use the formula, the dimensions uh, of this kind of solids in order to get uh, another dimension, I mean another another unknowns like the surface areas, the volume, or the diagonal of the solids. So we need to understand the dimensions of this solid. Okay, rectangular, rectangular parallelepipe. So, let's go to the definition of terms. Okay, parallelepipe is a prism whose bases and lateral faces are parallelograms. So, when you say bases, this is the, uh, the, the face which is bounded by this solid. No? Ito, yung, ito yung mga faces niya, whose bases... So the base, if the position of your rectangular parallelepipe is like this, so the bases will be this part here and on the top. And the lateral faces are the sides, no? Yung napapaligiran, yun yung ating lat lateral, uh, lateral faces. And this type of prism may be classified, classified according to the position of its lateral edges with respect to the bases. So ang ating mga lateral edges ay may iba-ibang position. So, pwede siya maging ganito, no? At pwede siyang naka-incline siya at pwede siyang para, uh, naka-perpendicular. Okay. So, let's talk about the different properties of parallel pipe. Number one, the parallel edges. Okay. So, we have the edges. Parallel edges of a rectangular parallel pipe are equal. So, it means if this is parallel, this is parallel. This two also is parallel. So therefore, uh, their lengths are equal. And they are parallel. Okay? Number two. The opposite lateral faces of a rectangular parallel pipe are equal and parallel. So let's say this is one face. So the, the opposite lateral face of this part is this one. Okay, on the other side. And the lateral face of this portion, its opposite is this front one. And so, the parallel uh, face of this... Um, okay, so it's only the lateral faces. Okay, any two opposite faces of a rectangular parallel path may be taken as the bases. So, kahit na ibaliktat, balibalik ta rin mo to, no? If you're going to turn it on sideways, so this will be your base, and this will be your base too. So, kung itulak mo ito, no? Twist that, and uh, uh, you make it stand, and this is the base also. This will be your base, and this is also your base. So, it can be any any opposite faces of the rectangular parallel, right? You can take it as a base. Number four. Every section of a rectangular parallelepipe made by a plane parallel to the base is equal to the area or to that of the base. What does it mean? So it means this part here, if you cut it, right? If you are going to cut this part, so this section, yung kung saan na kinat mo, no, yung solid, that area has to be equal in area to that of the base. No, pero na lang siguro kung ang ikakat mo ay nakaslanting. Okay? Pero kung ang kinat mong plane ay parallel siya sa base, ibig sabihin, hindi siya slanting. Kasi kung ano yung, ano yung position ng base mo, ganun din ang pagkat niya. So, they are equal. Let's go to the different classification. Now, an oblique parallel pipe, parallel pipe, has lateral edges that are inclined with the base. So, this is an oblique parallel pipe. Ito naman, I write parallel pipe because the lateral edges are perpendicular to the base. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so 
what is a uh, rectangular parallelepiped thing? So, a uh, re rectangular par parallelepiped is commonly known as the rectangular solid. So, all the faces and bases of a rectangular solid are rectangles. So, remember, lahat ng face or and bases of a rectangular solid, lahat sila ay rectangles. Pwede kasing mangyari na square ito, no? Pwede kasing ganito. Uh, kung halimbawa, uh, let's take uh, another shape. Let's say square shape. No? You can do DIY on it. Okay. Pero, so, let's say, so ganito yung shape ng rectangle mo. So, pwede rin siyang ganun, no? So, you can also do that. Pero, uh, in this case, hindi siya para, uh, rectangular parallel pipe. No? Kasi ang rectangular parallel pipe, dapat siya ay, uh, it has to be, all faces and all bases has to be uh, rectangle. So, ito square. So, it, it means hindi ito uh, parallel, rectangular parallel pipe. So, okay, so let's take it out. Hindi maguluhan. Okay, now rectangular solid has three important dimensions. You have the length, the width, and the height. And these dimensions determine the diagonal length, surface area, and volume of a rectangular solid. Okay, next is... So, ito, tatlong importanteng dimensions, no? So, kailangan natin ito para mapag-compute uh, mapag natin yung surface area, diagonal length. Now, remember, uh, when you say the diagonal of a solid, that is different from the diagonal of a plane. So, let's say, for example, katulad ito, diagonal length of a rectangular solid. So, the diagonal length of a solid is actually... Uh, coming from this vertex down to the other opposite side, no? Uh, to opposite side siya, pero sa babang vertex, hindi siya yung straight vertex, vertex or straight uh, from the uh, point, no? Okay, from the point of origin, katulad dito. So, you are going to draw a line from this vertex going to the vertex opposite it, but it's on the uh, bottom vertex. Okay, sa base. So, top base, top vertex, down to the opposite na bottom vertex. So, that will be your diagonal length. No? Now, when you say diagonal of a base, this is the diagonal of a base. Ito. Kita natin dito sa baba, no? sa bottom part. So, mula dito sa point, papunta rito. So, yun yung diagonal ng plane mo, ng base mo. Magkaiba sila. Pero, diagonal ito sa plane, ito naman diagonal sa 3D. Okay. Now, by Pythagorean theorem, if you're going to, to, to solve for D, you need to solve this point. No? This line, I mean. So, this line is the diagonal of the plane. And, of course, you can see here that this is slanting lang yan, pero actually, ito ay perpendicular yan, no? So, this is a right triangle na na-form dito. So, pwede natin gamitan ang Pythagorean Theorem. So, Pythagorean Theorem, uh, when you solve for the hypotenuse, this is equal to the square root of L squared, okay, and the W squared. Okay, ito. Same since ito at saka ito dito sa kabila ay the same. Now, to find the length of the diagonal D of the solid, you use the Pythagorean theorem with the height H. Ito. And, of course, the diagonal of the base is sides of the triangle. So, ginamit natin ito at saka yung H para makuha yung D. Gamit natin ang formula ni Pythagoras. Now, if you're going to 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 uh, to substitute the values okay so the diagonal of the base is equal to l squared plus w squared and then plus h squared tapos e square root mo sila or you can say the diagonal of the solid is equal to l squared plus w squared plus h squared okay 
Alright, so let's go with the surface areas of a rectangular solid. Okay, in a rectangular solid, there are six faces consisting of three congruent pairs. So, meron etong three faces, no? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the lateral area is the side, no? Of the solid. Now, if you're going to sum all the four sides of the solid, is okay, the, the formula is 2LH plus 2WH. Paano? So, L times W. Ito yung base. I times 2. Oh, sa H muna tayo. L times H. Okay? So, dalawa sila. Ito, tsaka ito. Okay? Ito, tsaka ito dito. Next, we have 2WH. So, 2W uh, times sa H. Times 2 mo, dahil ito rin, no? So, ito yung lateral faces mo. Ito yung formula. Now, total surface area, it has to include the top and bottom area. So, isulat mo lang ito ulit, 2L the LH, no? Plus 2WH, and then, you dadagdagan mo yung top. So, top is L times W. Times 2, e di 2LW. So, this is the formula for the total surface area. Okay, volume. Ang volume ay napakadali. Imumultiply mo lang lahat ng dimension. Length times when. Uh, weight times two height that is equal to the volume of the rectangular solid okay so let's solve for the problem here okay so meron tayong length width and height so yung length natin dito ang sabi dito the length of a rectangular solid is three times the width so it means you have to uh, equal that to three w no okay so, the length of a rectangle solid is 3 times the width. Okay. And the height of uh, height is twice the width. So, equals to 2W. Find the volume and the length of its diagonal if the total surface area is 198. So, we cannot solve the volume and the length if we will not go, if we will not be getting the value of W. So, how are we going to solve for the dub? W. Therefore, we need to get the total surface area. Okay, so let's start with computing the total surface area. Total surface area of a rectangular um, solid is equals to uh, 2 LW, okay, 2 LW plus uh, 2 LH plus or 2 WH. Okay. So, yan yung formula natin. Now, we are going to substitute the value of A into 198. Okay. So, 198, of course, that square inches. Okay. So, ilagay natin ito. Is equals to 2 times, what is the length? Length is 3 W times W plus 2 LH. So, 2 times ano yung L? 3 W ano yung H? 2 W Okay, plus doon na tayo 2 times W times 2 W Okay, so that will be our um, and these are all that will be our equation. So, they are all um, inches squared. Okay? Alright. So, let's move to the solution. So, 198 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6. 6W six squared. So, 6W squared plus Anong kasunod? 2 times 3 times 2? That is... Um, okay. 2 times 3, 6, 12. Okay. So, 12W squared. Plus. 2 times 2, 4. That is 4W squared. Okay. So, 198 is equals to... 6 times 12, 18, plus 4, 22. 
okay, 22W squared. So, i-divide natin both sides ng 22 para ma-cancel yung 22 dito sa kabila. So, 22 all over 22. Okay, so that is W squared. So, cancel ang uh, 22. And this one is 9. Right? So, 9. 9 is equals to W squared. Or W is equals to 3. Okay. Now, you have to substitute the value. So, therefore, we have the length. Okay? Length and then the width and the height. Okay. So, length natin is 3W. So, 3 times 3. And then width natin is, of course, 3. Ang height natin is 2 times 3. So, this is 9, this is 3, and this is 6. Okay, after getting the value of these dimensions, go to the volume. So, solve for the volume. So, volume is equal to length with height. So, V is equal to 9 times 3 and then times 6. So, V is equals to 162. And of course, you have to put the uh, unit, no? Okay, now what about the uh, diagonal? No, diagonal. So, diagonal. Or you can say solve for the diagonal. All for the diagonal. Okay, so D is equal to square root of L squared plus W squared plus H squared. So D is equal to square root of L natin is 9 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. So, D is equals to 81 plus 9 plus 36. So, D is equals to square root of 81 plus 9 plus 36, 126. So, therefore, D is equals to 11.22. Okay, this is inches. All right, so we're done. So this is your answer. And of course, this is your answer. All right, so counting 38 cubic feet of coal to a ton, how many tons will a coal bin 19 feet long, 6 feet wide, and 9 feet deep contain when level full? Okay, so first... I think you have to um, express this phrase to um, um, make a statement, right? Or mathematical statement. This is simply giving you the idea that one ton, let's change it to another color. So one ton of coal is actually can be expressed in terms of cubic feet. So, 38 cubic feet. Okay, so this is our conversion uh, statement. How many tons will a coal be 19 feet long and 6 feet wide and 9 feet deep contain? So, let's draw this. So, this is our drawing. So, 19 feet long, 6 feet wide, and of course, 9 feet high or deep. Okay, so we are going to compute for the volume. Okay, compute the volume of the coal bin. Okay. Right. 
Right. So, volume is equals to 19 times 6 times 9. And that gives you the answer of 1,026. 1,026. Okay, that is cubic feet. Alright. Next, after getting the volume of the bin, you have to check how many 38 cubic feet can contain uh, this bin. So, it means divide divide the volume of bin okay into okay into 38 cubic feet so we'll get so we can get the volume in tons Okay, so we have uh, 1,026 divided by 38. So you have 27 tons of coal. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, compute the cost of the lumber necessary to resurface a footbridge 16 feet wide and 150 feet long with 2 inches planks. If lumber is $40 per 1,000 board feet, neglect waste. So, 1 board feet is equal to 1 foot times 1 foot and by 1 inch. Okay, so a footbridge can be seen like... I mean, can be illustrated like this. Okay, so this is how a footbridge may look, no? Okay, now we're going to compute the uh, volume nitong, nitong wood na to. So let's try to solve for the volume. So the volume of the wood is, or the lumber, okay, the lumber. is equal to 150 feet times 16 feet times you have to convert this to inches over 12 so ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 400 Okay, so you have 400 cubic feet. Okay, actually if you just want to get the board feet of this, you can simply multiply it by 12. Okay, pero papakita natin kung bakit 12 ang imo multiply. No? We can simply get the board feet by multiplying it to 12. Okay. So, how, many, how much? 400 times 12? It's 4,800 board feet, no? Pero ang tanong, bakit 12? 4,800. So, 
So, bakit 12? Okay, so if you're going to, to convert this no, sa volume, so one board feet no, is equal to one foot siya times one foot times one over 12 feet. So, ito yung one board feet equivalent to the volume. So, one, one board, one, one board feet is equals to one over 12 uh, cubic feet. Okay? Now, you can, uh, you can actually get the total board feet of 16 feet by 150 by 2 planks by uh, by converting this right converting this uh, thing there okay so that i, I co compute natin ito since 400 400 cubic feet ito okay 400 cubic feet siya so ilang 1 over 12 meron dito sa 400 yun yung tanong so, it means we are getting the total board feet, total board feet for that planking, wooden plank, no? Sa surface, total board feet is equals to 400 cubic feet divided by 1 over 12, okay? Cubic feet. So, of course, i-cancel na natin ito. So, that gives you so total board feet is equals to 400 times 12 so kaya siya naging uh, 4,800 okay so 4,800 board feet now hindi pa natatapos yung ating sagot dito dahil uh, i-co-compute pa natin ang cost no what is the cost? Okay. So, since uh, $40 is equals to 1,000 board feet. Okay. And you have total board feet of that wooden or the lumber to be 4,800. Okay. So, you have to get the how many... 1,000 mayroon dito sa 4,8. Okay. So, the cost will be equal to 4,800 divided by 1,000. Siyempre, cancel yung kanilang board width. Okay. Times mo sa $40. Okay. So, cost now is equals to 4,800 divided by 1,000. That is 4.8. So, 4.8 times $40. Okay. So, cost will be times 40. $192. Okay. So, this is $192. So, this is your answer for this problem okay and then we have the next example building bricks are closely stacked in a pile seven feet high and 36 feet uh, long and 12 feet wide if the bricks are two inches in inches by four inches by nine inches how many bricks are in the pile okay so meron kang bricks what is the volume Okay, volume of one bricks muna tayo, no? Okay, so volume of one brick in terms of cubic feet. Okay, so dimension muna tayo, no? So usually yung, mala, mal, yung mahabang le, a number is yung length which is 9 inch. Okay, convert mo sa feet ito, maging 9 over 12 feet, no? And then, the width, of course, is 4 inches. 
feet that will be 4 over 12 feet and the thickness or the height is equals to uh, 2 inches okay or 1 over 12 a uh, 2 over 12 so 2 over 12 feet okay pwede mo din tong i uh, reduce the lowest term no see this is 3 fourths this is 1 third and this is 1 over 6 okay now uh, this is the this is the volume of one brick. Volume is equals to three fourths times one third k okay, times one over six. Okay, now you can actually cancel three here, so it can be the answer would be one over twenty four. Okay, so now we are going to get the number of bri bricks for this particularly pile, particular pile, stock pile. Okay, so we get 1 over 24, so let's start. Okay. All right, so volume of the stockpile in terms of feet, okay? In terms of feet, is equals to volume is equals to 7 times 36, okay? In terms of feet, so 7 times 36 times 12, okay? So, volume is equal to 3,024. You can plug in it, this, uh, this number in your calculator and check, double check. So, we get 3,024. So, that's the volume of the stockpile. Now, if you want to get the number of bricks on that pile, you can uh, divide 3,024 by 1 over 24. So, or 3,024 times 24. That gives you 70,576 bricks. So, that will be your answer. Answer, I mean. Okay. So, next problem will be... Okay, let's go to the last problem, I guess. Okay, so a packing bag, box 2.2 feet by 4.9 feet by 5.5 feet is to be completely covered with tin. Okay, so how many square feet of the metal are needed? So let's draw the, the package, package box. Okay, so you have uh, this illustration. Okay, and then we can label it. So that will be 5.5 and this will be uh, 4.9. And then uh, the height is 2.2. Okay, the volume, I mean the total surface area. Oh, so we don't need the volume actually. We can uh, ignore it because the question is total surface area. So we can delete that. No. Can take it out. So I was mistakenly computing the volume of this problem, which is not important. So let's go back. Okay, the total surface area is equal to okay, 2LW plus two WH plus two LH. Okay, so TSA is equals to times five point five times four point nine and then plus 
2 times 4.9 times 2.2 plus 2 times 5.5 times 2.2. So the total surface area is equals to Okay, so the total surface area is 99.66. Okay, that is in square feet. Okay, I want you to review that and plug into your calculator and check if the figures that I have uh, written in this solution is correct. So let's go to the next problem. The total surface of a rectangular solid is 92 square meters and its base is 2 centimeters. Uh, 6 centimeters by 2 centimeters find the volume of the solid so first you had to write down that the total surface area is 92 square meters and the uh, area of the base is 6 meters by centimeters by 2 centimeters okay so what is the height we don't have the height first well, let's compute for the uh, for the total surface area, though we have already the figure total surface area, but we will need to compute for the edge, the value of edge. Edge is unknown. So we cannot get the volume because we don't know what's the value of edge. So given the surface area or the total surfa surface area to be 92, so I'm very sure we can solve for the edge now since edge will be the only variable that is unknown so TSA is equals to 2 times 6 times 2 plus 2 times 2 times H plus okay so this is the site 2 time L, L times H Two times L times H, so ninety-two is equals to twenty-four. Okay, then four H. Then of course twelve H. So ninety-two is equals to twenty-four plus sixteen H. Okay. So that is 16H is equals to 92 minus 24. So 1, 1, I mean a 16H is equals to 68. Okay, so H is equals to 68 all over 16. Okay, so that is your answer, which is 4.25. Okay. All right. So there you go. All right. So we'll compute the volume of the solid now. So volume is equals to 6 times 2 times 4.25. And that gives us the answer of 51. Okay. So we finished all the examples for this lesson. So I hope you have learned something. It's very easy for this uh, particular subject. I mean, for this particular topic, it's very easy. So there you go. We'll go to the next module after this.